Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Math and Miss Ball's bedroom. Um, that should be, that should just be what I call it from now on. I'm pretty sure I say that every day. Welcome to Math and Miss Ball's bedroom. Um, we are going to continue on talking about and learning about subtraction. Um, remember that subtraction is when you have a whole group of something and you're taking it apart. It is the opposite of addition. Addition, you have two things that you're putting together. Subtraction is you have one thing that you're taking apart back out into the two things. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this lesson with our number of the day. Um, so go ahead. And if you notice, I pulled out the number of the day uh, with for a big number. Okay. I think we're ready for it. Why not, right? Um, so go ahead and find your number of the day that has the 10 uh, train and then the, the extra ones down here. If you need to push pause to go find it, go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, we are going to go ahead and get started um, on a bigger number because I think you guys can handle it. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off easy with you guys. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll do a bigger bigger number but let's just start off slow all right so let's go ahead and let's say that uh, our number of the day today is the number 10. okay all right so for the number 10 we need to figure out the two numbers before it and the two numbers after okay so if 10 is our number if 10 is our number, then we need to figure out the two numbers that come before it. All right, so let's count up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we know how to count backwards from 10, right? Like a rocket ship. 10, 9. Okay, so 9 is right here. 10, 9, 8. All right, and then it goes seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I stop. All right, so what number comes directly after 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And eleven is a one and a one. And what comes after eleven? Ten, eleven, twelve, one and a two. Okay? All righty. So if 10 is our number, and we know that this is a 10 train, do we need to count it? No, because we know that there are 10 cubes in a 10 train, right? So we don't even need to count it. We're just going to color all of them. And if we color all of them, we know that it's 10. Okay? All right. So tally it. All right. So let's see. When we did our number five yesterday, we said that a five was one, two, three, four, and then we crossed it for, for five, right? Now, to make 10, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then what are we gonna do for that fifth one? 10, we're gonna cross it again. So you have your four lines going down and then one slash. So then you could count it by fives, five, 10. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and write the word 10. Let's sound this one out. T eh, 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 not ah, not i, eh, n, 10, 10. Okay. Now, Odd or even. Now, this is one of those things that you will learn a lot more in first and second grade, but we can go ahead and introduce it now. When a number ends, the last number, when it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is called an even number. 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 is an even number. If it ends in a 1, 3, five, seven, or nine, then it is a odd number, okay? So using that rule, look at this last number here. 
0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 is even. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is odd. So what would you say that 10 is with the 0 being the last number? It would be even. Okay? It would be even. Now, just for giggles, if this was our number of the day, you see the 1 at the end. So I'll say it one more time. 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 is even. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is odd. So what would 11 be? Even or odd? It would be odd because that 1 right there. You're always going to look for the last number. Now, if it's just a number by itself, then that is the last number, right? So 9 would be odd. 8 would be even. And it's like a pattern. Okay? Even, odd, even, odd. As long as you start with zero. All right, so here we go. Going back to 10. Going back to 10. We have two 10 frames. Two 10 frames. So if we have two of them, but we want to color 10, we're going to color just one 10 frame. And do we need to count it? No. Why do we not need to count it? Why do we not need to count it? Because you're what? Smart. Because you're smart, you don't need to count it because you know just by looking at it that that is 10. You are smart. All right, draw it. Hmm. Yesterday I drew tacos. There's nothing really happening on May 6th. We had Star Wars Day on Monday. We didn't have a video. We had Taco Tuesday yesterday. I drew tacos. March 6th. Let's make today stick figure day. I'm going to draw 10 people. And they're all going to look like this. I'm giving them no clothes. I'm giving them no hair. So it is neither boy or girl. It can be boy. It can be girl. It can be whatever you want it to be. I'm giving them a head, a body. Two arms and two legs. Whoever you want my people to be, they will be. All right. All righty. So there is our number of the day. All right. So I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and pull out our page for the day. We are in chapter six, lesson one. If you're not sure, it's right up here. 6.1. Oh, good. We have the kids again. I really love when they use the people and not um, jump right into the numbers. I think it's a little bit easier. All right. Okay, here we go. We have some children. What are they doing? Reading books. They're in the reading center. Oh, yeah, look. Readers. Mm. All right, so we've got some children in the reading center. Um, and some of the kids want to leave, right? They're not all staying there. Um, and we've got to work a math sentence to, to explain it, all right? So the first number is always, always, in subtraction, the first number is always how many are all together, okay? So how many children are on this page? One, two, three. So there are three children on this page, all right? How many children are walking away? How many children are leaving him? So we're going to go ahead and mark an X on him because he is leaving. How many? Just one. And how many children stay? Let's go ahead and circle the ones that stay. Those two. Those two kids. Now, we've got some words down here. Oh, look at this. They, they've put a little reading in our... Uh, our math page, we got a long A word. All right, so look here. Three, t a k take. Three, take away. One is two. I'm going to write the word is here. So we're saying it. They just didn't write it. Three, take away one is two. Okay, would you agree that there were three kids, one left, and now there's two that remain? 
Yeah, I would say so. All right, let's flip over to the back. Oh, look here. So they gave us, the camera's not high enough. Okay, so they gave us how many kids in all, right? They told us we've got one, two, three, four, four kids in all. How many kids are leaving the area? They're all eating lunch. There are some children that are leaving. How many are leaving? Yes, these two children are leaving. So I'm going to go ahead and mark an X on them. They are leaving. They are headed somewhere else. They are done with their lunch. How many children remain? How many are left? These two guys right up here finishing their lunch. They're slow eaters. I bet Mr. David is somewhere in the background. Clean up your mess. Time to go. Gotta go. Gotta go. All right. So down here, we've got an empty space. We've got four, take away two is what? How many are left? Two. Sorry, can you see that whole thing? All right, make sure your paper looks like mine. Oh man, you ready for this one? Oh boy, they didn't give us a thing. We have to fill it all out ourselves. Okay, so let's bring it down, check out our picture. <sighs> okay, let's think. When we subtract, we start with all together. All right, we're subtracting, so we're starting with all together. All right, so how many all together? How many? How many? One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Okay, down, around, and put on a hat. Okay, so there's five. Five, take, take away. Okay, who's going away? Let me see. Okay, this girl's leaving the block area. Look, it says block center right there. One child is leaving. So five, take away. One, she's leaving. All right, and then this one is how many in all left over. So there's one, two, three, four kids down over and down somewhere. Okay, that makes sense. That was hard. Okay. Does that make sense to you? How many in all? One, two, three, four, five. Taking away one, four remain. I'm going to write that word is five. Take away one is four. You guys got it. All right. So we're going to skip that back page. Okay. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I miss you every day, um, and I hope you're being the best that you can be for your mom and dad, for your brothers and sisters, um, whoever you're hanging out with every day. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day. If you've not yet done your math iReady for the week, please do that. Please, please, please log into iReady um, and do that math lesson, okay? All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye.